How to write a captivating case study. If you are wondering how to write a case study assignment that will impress your professor instantly, today's your log day because today we give you some actionable tips. Hi guys, I'm Enrique from Study Bay where we guide students in their studies to exploit their potential and achieve their academic goals. So let's get started. First, let's start with the definition of what is a case study and then let's dive into how to write a case study. So first of all, what is a case study? It is a description of a specific situation or case in any area. It might be social, economic, medical, it could be even a marketing case study or a psychology one. Okay, as a rule of thumb, the study contains a story and a problem or a contradiction based on real facts. Solving a case means analyzing the proposed situation and finding the optimal solution. To dissect for an essay understanding, let's look at these scenarios. So first, you have a doctor. A doctor it solves usually the problem in each time he or she diagnoses the patient and prescribes the treatment. A manager, for example, solves a problem at a all stages of the business process. He or she has to figure out which product to launch or where to sell it to attract buyers and which suppliers and partners to choose. So the steps you follow to write an incredible case study and impress everyone by writing a case study follow some specific set of steps as I'm going to discuss right now. So step number one, to conduct the research. To conduct a very good research, you have to use sources that only and try different formats such as, for example, journal articles, case study interviews, videos and presentations. Even an official Twitter of a specific company may come in handy. If you have an opportunity to, for example, schedule a meeting with someone who can tell you more about the case, okay, don't miss it. Uh, the information that you are gonna get, so gathering phase, this phase is very important because it allows us to connect different parts of the business that make it work. But the more you understand everything that happens during these phases, the easier it is to find places to start. Second step, step number two, describe the situation. Your readers, they, they should clearly understand the story you are telling them. So even if it goes about a famous situation, you must start with a short description of all the previous events and a problem statement. So to grab your reader's attention, you have to begin with quotes from someone well-known, for example, uh, to your target audience. You can also choose some quotes from the press to show how hot your topic is. You could also take things a notch higher to provoke the thoughts of your readers by starting, for example, with a couple of questions like, could anyone have imagined that? Step three, provide background. <laughs> When your readers, they know what your case study is about and the main problem you are writing, it is time to share more information. So basically, you can start with the background uh, of the cases and then the background of the problem and its prerequisites. This section should consist of a trustworthy information from authority sources, facts, and figures. You can add some visuals like photos or graphs if you want, uh, some quotes from articles and interviews, and so on. Depending on your case study format, you can also include some videos or audio files so that your audience gets the complete understanding of the background of your study. So basically, when you are writing the background paragraphs, you should give your readers uh, all the information that they need to make their own conclusions. I mean, 
In the following sections, you will present your insights, of course, and, obviously, the solutions. But it's essential to ensure the audience that they see some sense in them. Step 4. Describe a solution. Okay, so once you have provided your readers with the necessary information, proceed to the solutions. Tell the story from the very beginning. What were the first ideas? Okay, then why were they declined? Then describe the winning one and the person or the group of people who came up with it. Depending on your paper instructions, this section may include your own opinion. And it is not about facts only, but a subjective thinking. Do you think the solution was the best and why? If not, why not? What ideas you personally have taken account your own knowledge? All right, pay attention to the limitations that the company had. For example, let's think. Okay, so if it is about a case of the 1950s, you can't provide a solution related to modern technology, can you? However, you can give credit to the stakeholders' creativity that they were required to work in pretty other circumstances. Besides, don't forget to mention the goal of the solution. Okay, while the company tried to solve the problem, for example, you may suggest eliminating uh, some of the ideas and so on. Step 5. Find solutions. Let's consider several ways to solve problems. First, morphological analysis. It is based uh, on selecting possible solutions for individual parts of the problem and subsequently uh, systematically in obtaining their combinations by combining options for implementing the object elements you can get the most unexpected new answers. Focal objective method. It is uh, a method that generates unusual ideas by associating the original object by randomly selecting three other entities. It is used to improve an object by obtaining many action modifications with unexpected properties. Kepner and Trigo methods. Have you heard of this? It's a matrix approach to decision making through the study of decision alternatives, strengths, and weaknesses, and choosing, of course, the best option. When filling out the matrix for each choice, numerical indicators are determined and the value for each factor is calculated, followed by that obtaining the weight of each solution. So, uh, there's another method, it's Synetics. So, this case study method is based on a simple problem-solving and creative thinking concept. You must generate ideas and evaluate them. There's another one, super interesting, you have heard, I'm sure, brainstorming. But here, I want to come with reverse question brainstorming techniques to develop more creative ideas than regular brainstorm technique. It is used in cases where it's difficult to find a straightforward solution to the problem. Step 6. Find the best solution. If you apply all above methods, you can find several ways to solve it. Your task now is to find the best option. And to do that, it's necessary to analyze each decision, to write the data and to visualize the whole picture. By looking at the results, you can understand which solution will be the best. Step 7. Now you have to evaluate the consequences. Your case study is almost finished and it's time to write up. So you need to draw some conclusions and tell the readers whether the uh, accepted solution was the right choice. Write about the, the events that the company had to face after these chains and the short and long-term consequences. What insight can you and other professionals in your field take from the whole situation? All right, so if the choice was a mistake, for instance, you could describe it uh, in details and why do you think it didn't work? 
Were there some circumstances that were impossible to predict? Who is or who was responsible for the situation? You can also describe the status quo briefly to satisfy the interest of your audience. Okay guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video as I did. So check the description below to learn more about case study methods, case study examples, and more exciting topics, including case studies templates. So there are plenty of helpful articles for you, prepared especially for you. You can also find information about candidates for your case study and how to conduct a research. Do you need more help? Let me know in the comment sections below. Ah, by the way, tell me, did you like the video? Your impressions, where you're talking from? Uh, you could also find an expert on studybay.com who will be ready to guide you through the process. Remember to hit that button like right now and subscribe to the channel to receive more impactful videos like this. And thanks for watching, bye for now and see you in the next video. Namaste, Enrique here. Bye bye guys. Like that, that video, subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.